Hi everybody, this is Chris, owner and designer at I Love Italian Charms, and we're going to do a video today for those of you that are not familiar with Italian Charms, are just starting out in charming, and want to know how to uh, take the charms apart when you have a starter bracelet and changing and interchanging your charms. Um, for those of you that don't know, Charming has been around for a very long time, over 30 years. It was started in Italy by a company called Nomination, and even soccer players were wearing charms at the time. Then they caught on here in the U.S. when some tourists saw them, and they've been going strong ever since. They're a item that is never going to change, and it's going to keep growing and growing. Now what we have here is this is what we call a starter bracelet and this is as you can see just a color bracelet they come in gold, silver, any color that you want and when you're just starting out you want to have a starter bracelet so that you can add the charms of your choice and as you get your charms what you want you there's two different types of tools this is one kind of tool that has uh, on both sides it has a little hook. This is not one of my favorites but it is one option that you have. The one that I really like is this one and the reason why I like this one is because on this end it is large for the nine millimeter or larger charms and this side is when you buy a mini bracelet which basically those are anklets so this one won't get used quite as much as this side. But these, we'll, we'll say that these are the charms that you want to add. And we're going to put them on this starter bracelet. And as you can see, you can pull it and the links come apart. And that's how you add them and take them off. The easy, you, when, you're, when they're brand new like this and your bracelet is together, the simple thing to do is to pull it. And as you can see on the other side, there is a hook so you just have to hold it with one hand and you can lift down the hook and bring it apart like that very very simple but when you go to add a charm when it's apart it's a little more challenging so what you want to do is take your hook put it in the side push it down and then you do a simple twist just like that and as you can see where I've got it in is going to take this charm out right here. So what you can do is, we'll say you're going to place that new charm right there, pull that out, take your new charm, in this case we have a little flower, on the other side where the little opening is, you'll stick the hook in there, if I can get my fingernails out of the way, pull it on, and now it's connected, release the hook, and pull it out and now you have an attached charm now we want to put this back together because we still oops yep and I have that on backwards it looks like um, no I'm sorry the charm bracelet is is backwards to me so in order to hook it back together you again put it put the hook into the slot push it down give it a little twist to open it up revealing the hook and stick it in like that, turn it and release it and now your bracelet is back together. You can go down further, say you want to add one right here, we'll do it again, twist, hold it, bring it off, we'll put this little round one on here, Oops. Sometimes they're a little tight. Well, there we go. And that one's on there. So now you have two. You also want to take off the number of charms on a starter bracelet that you add. So we're going to take, oops, let's go up here because we're going to get two. We want to remove those so that we don't have too big of a bracelet and then we'll take and put it all back together twist put that chain back oops and sometimes you lose them <laughs> and you have to kinda do it a couple times it takes a little bit of practice 
get your hooky end, snap it in. Maybe. There we go. So now it's all together. We're going to put our bracelet back together so that we can wear it. Do the hook, turn it. And now we've got a whole bracelet again with the bracelet or with the charms on there. That's what you want to do whenever you add new bra new charms to your bracelet is just take out what you have used. I would hang on to these. You could always make a bracelet out of the ones that you take out of there. Now what I want to show you also is the different charms that are available. You saw one of the new ones going in here. This is called a round charm and all we need is a photo to go into there or a photo of your family, your pet, um, your favorite place, whatever. We can put it inside that round one and it makes like a nice charm. You can see it's elevated. Your typical uh, nine millimeter charms are like this. They're small, nine millimeters. They fit into your standard bracelet. We also have what is called a 13 millimeter. Now these are not compatible with the nine millimeter bracelet. They are a different size, so they make their own bracelet. This one here is, I just took a decal and put it in there and put the enamel over the top. Uh, those are kind of nice if you have a special decal or your favorite friend, parent, child, whatever, uh, a favorite experience can go in them. But these are not compatible with this bracelet. The rest I'm going to show you are. This is kind of fun. This is called a dangle. And we've got on our website several uh, different types of dangles. These are compatible with these. Um, this one is a new style. It's called a I can't remember what it's called. I want to say Unimega, but that's not right. Um, but anyway, it is, as you can see, a lot larger than the 9mm. These are great for photos. They really bring the photos out, and they are compatible. This does fit into this. Uh, you can fit them onto these bracelets. They just make a, a nice, uh, if you're looking for a real clear photo, this would be uh, the ideal one to get. And we also have the Mega and what is called the Una Mega. Uh, the difference being this one hooks two bracelets together as we have here. It'll take and put one bracelet here and one bracelet here. So if you're really into charming, this is the thing you might want to do is have a centerpiece Mega Charm and then your other charms on the outside. The difference between that and the Una Mega is the Una Mega will only put one bracelet on it. This is not an Unimega, but just to give you an idea, it would be like this. The Unimega would sit in the center with the single bracelet on uh, both sides of it. Those are the main charms that we use. We would like to do theme charms. This one is one on the sound of music. It's uh, raindrops and roses and whiskers on kittens bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. That's what this bracelet is. So if you have a theme, that's an idea to do with charm bracelets as well and maybe get a pendant to go with it. So I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you'll come back. We're going to have more videos and instructions to show you. And please be sure and stop by our site and have a look around. We have a brand new site with a lot of exciting things. It's at iloveitaliancharms.com. Thanks for joining us and see you again. Bye-bye.